Man, so something really cool happened today. So there was this person who called, and as I say on this channel, I usually despise getting these calls from other stores. It's like, okay, I've measured this, that, and the other, and this doesn't work. And it's not that the store wants to send me business. It's not that the store, wa the store owner calling wants to watch my videos and how to fix a board so that they can learn how to fix it themselves. No, it's not enough that I put out over 200, 300 videos of instructional content. No, they want me to spend 30 minutes on the phone with them to spoon feed them the answer. And what usually happens after I spoon feed them the answer, what happens when the mosquito bites you once? He bites you again and again and again. Just takes a little bit more blood each time. That's what I'm used to. Please help, please give solution. Machine dead, please give solution so that I can make $200 and I can waste 15 minutes of your time and you make shit. That's what I was expecting. But today I get this call. And the receptionist picks up and she has this big smile on her face and she stops us from all the work we're doing. She says, look, this person has question, this person has question. I'm like, oh God, no. Anytime my receptionist comes to me and says, Lewis, these people have a question for you. My first response is like, what do they want? What do they want? What do they want from me? If you're not somebody that I need to talk to, I don't want to interrupt my class with my student to help. I don't want to interrupt going home and living my life to help. I feel like 300 videos is help enough. But she says, just listen, just listen. And she forwards the call over to the other phone and I put it on speakerphone and there's this person saying, hi, I, I, I have this board and I think I have the same problem that you talked about in this video. I have 16 volts coming into the circuit. I have 16 volts at the TON pin for time on so that the buck converter knows how often to set the switching based on the input voltage. But I don't have voltage and output. I have a short to ground and I don't have a donor board so I can't replace this thing and I'm like, and I have this big smile on my face because the person on the phone sounds like they're 10 years old. It's a kid. A kid is using the shit in these videos. I shouldn't say shit because it's a kid watching. But using the information in these videos to fix something. And that is so cool. It's not just cool that this kid who wound up being 11 years old after we spoke for a little bit actually figured it all out. And Steve's like, wait, so you measured? And he's like, what did you measure? And I go, I measured PP3V42 because I don't have a green light, which means there may be a malfunction with the one wire circuit, meaning either the one wire circuit is not working or the SMC is not turning on. And I'm just standing here like, what? I'm dumbfounded. You have to understand where I'm coming from here. I have hired people 20, 30, 40 years old, some of them with some electronics repair experience, some of them with bachelor's degrees, and I can't get them to understand shit. After weeks or months, they're just... They can't fix anything. They can't make anything work again. This kid's 11 years old, and he's already done all this diagnosing. 11 years old. No college. The kid probably has, uh, you know, I don't even think we took algebra until eighth grade. This kid probably, this kid probably hasn't even learned what two X, how to solve for 2x equals 4 yet. And he figured out what's wrong with his damn motherboard. And he can explain it to me step by step with logic. I was, I was dumbfounded. And even Steve smiled. He's like, what, what rail did you measure when he said that? Like, we, we all just had a smile on our face. And it's not because we're making fun of this. It's because it was that, that, so that moment where we realized that not only did an 11-year-old figure all this out on his own, but that something about what we all did here contributed to the fact that an 11-year-old could figure this out on, your own, on their own. And that's where I kind of realized that there's something so outside of what it is I'm, it's something so outside myself that I'm doing here. Like the, the content that we put up, it, it, it's important outside of us. It's, an, it's like, it's a humbling moment. It's not about me. It's not about my store. It's not about what I'm pointing out on the screen. It's about the good that this content can do for society when it's out there. And at a time like this where I'm, where I will be fighting for the right to have educational videos on the internet. How that fight is going to go, you know, what, what movements the other side is going to make, I don't know yet. All I know, and I can be sure of, is that there is, there, there is going to be a little bit of clashing ahead. But what, what really gives me the motivation to move forward was hearing this kid describe to me for 40 seconds everything that he troubleshooted and why he believes the problem is in a certain area. An 11-year-old, I mean, hmm. I've hired people that are 10 years older than me and they can't fix shit. No offense, I'm sorry, but I don't mean it in an offensive way. It was just the truth. And this kid figured it out and he's 11. So, and he actually asked, and here's the, here's the other part for all you store owners out there that are calling me saying, hey, can you fix it? So what do I do next? 
where you're expecting me to spend 25 minutes of my time answering questions because you can't watch the fucking video. Sorry if the kid's parents are watching. But this kid, at the end of it, he said, this is what I've done. I want to pay you to fix it. How much is it? All of you store owners and business owners out there expect for me to take my time for free and to just talk you through your board repair because you're too much of a special snowflake to watch the video and figure out how to do it yourself. And the 11-year-old kid is the one saying, yeah, I want to pay for my board repair. So he told him, he's like, are you going to come in with your parents? And he goes, I can. I'm like, I said, if you come in with your parents, Steve said, if you come in with your parents, Lewis will show you how to fix your board and we're not going to charge you. One time offer. And I, I, I'm not going to deal with like, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not going to deal with you know, like 1,500 kids lining up outside the store. But one time offer just because you we were so stunned at this. One time offer. If you bring your parents and your parents approve of letting you into the shop and they are there to supervise while you watch and while you work, we will walk you through you fixing your own board. And I'm not going to charge you. Man, that just, that, that put a smile on my face. That put a smile on everybody's face who worked here. A 11-year-old, 11-year-old watched my videos and learned how to diagnose what's wrong with a motherboard that has a thousand components on it with an 80-page manual. 11-year-old. 11-year-old figured out that PP3V42 has a short on it. 11-year-old watched my videos and realized that that's the first power rail that you have to check. 11-year-old realizes what T-O-N means on the T-O-N pin of a buck regulator controller I see. I don't, I don't know what to say. I am beside myself right now. This is, this is amazing. You are a prodigy. You are going to do amazing, great things with your life. Not even, it, 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 regardless of electronics repair, regardless of fixing MacBooks, the fact that you have that level of analytical thinking at your age, that you have that mindset of not wanting something for nothing at your age, and that you're able to explain how you came to a conclusion and conduct yourself this well at 11 years old, you are going to be a success in life. How, I don't know but you are gonna be a success in life. I hope your parents are very, very proud of you if you're watching this right now. They should be proud of you and you should be proud of yourself. And I hope that your parents take me up on the offer to allow you to come by and fix your own board for free. Just, I'm, I don't know what to say. That was just such a smile on all our faces receiving that phone call from that kid today. Thank you very much. It, 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 it really means something to see that I'm not uploading this content for nothing. And again, at these times when I'm fight, when, when I know, I don't know what the details are, but I just know I have a battle up ahead regarding being able to keep this stuff on the internet. This is why it's worth putting everything on the line to fight that battle. People like you.